This is Eugene Pandrickovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Acer Aspire V5-561P touchscreen laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Aspire V5-561P touchscreen computer. Uh, before we start, there's a couple of things I need to go over. First, this particular touchscreen model. This model came out in early 2014, and therefore the touchscreen is more easily replaceable than the previous year's touchscreen laptops. The reason is, is that the touchscreen itself has been standardized starting late 2013, early 2014, where several different laptop computers can use the same touchscreen, whereas before each laptop model had a different touchscreen that it uses for it. The way to tell if it's standardized or not is you look at the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. For the older touchscreen models, the glass on the screen extends all the way to the edge. There is no plastic bezel. For the newer models with a standardized touchscreen, the glass is inside the plastic bezel, so that's how you can tell. Uh, the other thing particular about this laptop is you can see the model number right here, Acer V5-561P. The screen is, this procedure is for this exact model, V5-561P. For some reason, Acer likes the V5 name, so it has several completely different laptops with the V5 name, and it has different letters and numbers after the V5. So make sure this is the exact laptop model. Okay, next we're going to talk about the tools that we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables. We have a pointed hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up screw covers and to lift up adhesive tape. And finally, we have a metal spudger. Uh, this is a newer tool that we're using, and that's basically to separate the screen from the screen assembly. I'll show you how to use this shortly. Before we start with this laptop, we want to remove the battery so we can work on the laptop safely. In order to do that, we flip the laptop over and there's one lever to slide on this side and we can use our metal tweezers or some other pointed objects to slide it and the battery slides out like so. We put the battery for the side. Now uh, there's another place on the bottom where you can tell what the model number is. It is, it says V5 series right here. So the V5 series is a bit mis misleading because there's lots of Acer V5s laptops. And on the bottom, by the barcode, you can actually see the actual model number, V5-561P, that's what we're looking for. Okay, also we're on the bottom, the Acer gets a little bit tricky here. We need to remove a couple of screws, hiding behind some screw covers here and here. So we grab our a hobby knife, remove the screw cover, put it to the side, and then remove the screw. And also put it to the side. For each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep the screws in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them, and that helps me keep track of which screw goes where. So we do the same thing on the other side. like so, and remove the screw. Okay, after we remove the screw, we want to separate the seam a little bit. We might have to come back and do this later, but we take the we take the hobby knife or exacto knife and just pry it open a little, a little bit like this. And same same on this side, pry it open a little bit. Okay. Next, we open up the laptop again. Um, for this laptop, the procedure to get to the screen is a little bit different than most other laptops that 
I've worked with. The screen itself is attached to the front bezel for the front plastic bezel. So when we remove the screen from the screen assembly, the screen and the bezel will come off together. Most of the time you remove the bezel separately, it is not attached to the screen, and the screen itself is attached to the back of the screen assembly, but not in this case. So what we're going to do is pry open this seam here. Usually we pry open from here, but in this case the screen is attached to the screen bezel. So we're going to pry open here to remove this, both the screen bezel and the screen from the back of the screen assembly. And for this we have the spudger tool, the new tool that we're going to use. And what we're going to do is gently reach in and start prying open like so. Uh, for me, it's going to be a little bit easier because this screen assembly has been opened before, so it's a little bit looser. If you've at home, if you've never opened the screen before, there's some adhesive there that you have to lift up and snap it open. So to help, if it's not going well, you can take a blow dryer and warm up the section of the that you're working with with a blow dryer for a little bit, and that'll help loop, loosen up the adhesive. Okay, so we keep going like so. Use this kind of motion. Go all the way around and make sure when you do this hold the screen with at least one finger so it doesn't fall forward on you when it's loosened up enough. This is probably the longest step in the process. But we just take your time and be patient with it, like so. And you see that the screen will be coming off with the front bezel. Okay, and we keep going. Apologies for the phone. I neglected to turn off the phone. So, and we're doing the bottom seam now. Same thing as before, just pry it open. Like so. Once you pry everything open, we close the laptop a little bit some more, and then we want to pry open this seam where the hinge covers are, right here. And the same thing on the bottom. We can either use the spudger tool, or we can use the hobby knife to do this. Once you snap everything open, gently lift up the laptop and gently pull down, like so, the screen assembly. And we want to loosen up these hinges here. So once again we grab one of our tools. I can use the screwdriver a little bit. And lift up the hinge a little bit so it lifts up like this. Like so, and that helps loosen the screen from the screen assembly and gently, very gently put down the screen assembly. Okay, so here there's a couple things we need to do before we free the screen. There's the cable that goes up here and that goes to the webcam. So we and there's some adhesive tape that goes from the webcam to the screen. So we gently lift up the adhesive tape, gently lift up the webcam, and remove the adhesive, and put the webcam to the side, like so. And this is the connector to the screen. This is the only connector that's going to the screen. So we need to remove that. And to start it, we use our hobby knife, or X-Acto knife to start it up and then gently peel it back like so. 
Once we do that, the connector is exposed, and but the cable is trapped inside the guides. So we want to loosen up the cable a little bit so we can more easily remove the connector. And we use our tweezers for this step to remove the cable from the guides. Make sure you put the cable back in the guides once you're reassembling the laptop. And then once you do that, you can gently pull the connector out like so. It'll come straight out. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to show you how to reinsert the connector. When you reinsert it, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up look at the connection. As you pause the video right here, as you can see, there's no gaps in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection are flush with each other. Okay, so that's a properly connected connection. Once again, we pull the connector out, and then the screen is not connected, but there's a couple other small clips that we need to remove at the top before we can remove the screen from the screen assembly. So we use our screwdriver to remove the screw and the clip. And we put it once again in its own separate pile, keeping the screws and the clip together. And same with the other side, like so. Okay, once we do that, the screen is finally free. Uh, well, free from the screws. There's still some adhesive strips that are connecting the screen itself to the plastic bezel. So uh, you can either, once again, use the blow dryer to warm it up a little bit, or you can just gently pry it loose. So what we do is use our spudger one more time and gently pry the screen loose from the bezel. Okay, once again, this screen has been previously removed, so it's going to be easier for me than it is for you in this video. So take your time on this. You can even move it out a little bit. Like so. And then once you have enough to grab it, you can grab the plastic frame, the bezel, and gently pry it away from the screen. And be careful on the bottom. There's an extra metal strip that we have to deal with on the bottom. And the screen is removed, but once again, as, as I said, there's an extra metal strip. That's This part is not part of the screen. This is a part of the laptop, so you'll need to remove this strip and put it on the side before you get your new screen. So, once again, it uses adhesive. You gently lift up the adhesive and gently pull the, peel this metal strip away. Okay, now you have, when you're putting the, everything back together, you have to be careful where to line up this new strip back on the screen where you put it together. The way to tell is this metal ring is going to be very close to where, it's going to be right on top of this microphone here. You can see there's a round microphone here, and the metal ring goes on top of here. And also there's a f foam pad that goes inside this square enclosure on the, on the bezel. Okay, so we put this aside also. Finally, let's take a look at the screen. As I said before, it's a new type of screen that started appearing in late 2013, early 2014, where the touch screen digitizer, the part where it allows the touch motion and the display itself, the LCD itself is one assembly before the two were separate assemblies. Okay, and let's take a look at the part number. The part number is B156XTT01.1. 
B156XTT01.1. Uh, you also have to be very careful with the spark number. There's a nearly identical screen. It's B156XTT01.0 instead of 01.1. And it looks almost identical. The connector is the same, but it's incompatible. Your laptop will not work with the other model. Make sure it's this exact number when you're replacing the part number for this laptop. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons recently got the screen in stock, so we do have this exact part number available. And if you order from us, you also get these exact tools that I used in this video. They come for free with every screen that you order from us. And if you order from us and we ship for free in the continental United States using priority mail. so you'll get your screen in about two to three days after your order. If you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just go through the checkout procedure and specify your country. Okay, to order this screen from us, please go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out. Now ask for the laptop model number and from that you'll be directed to buy the right screen online and then just go through your checkout. Okay, let's quickly go how to put the laptop screen back together. Um, the first order of business is to line up this metal piece right on top where it's where the screen is going to be. So what you can do is put this one down like so where it's lined up and then put the screen on top and that's a good way to line it up then once you do line up the screen uh, mount the screen in the plastic bezel like so then mount the clips and the screws over here, like it was before. Just basically follow the reverse procedure. Once you have that, reconnect the screen connector. Then reconnect the webcam connector and mount the webcam in its placeholder where it was before. And then gently, let's take the screen out, and gently pretend the screen is in gently lift up the screen bezel and you might need to use some force let me make sure I don't damage the connector you might need to use some force but push the plastic hinge covers down like so until they're in and then gently snap the screen back in everywhere make sure everything goes together correctly and then go around and snap everything back in. There might be one or two places where it's not as tight as before. Some of the snaps may have broken off. That's normal part of this procedure. Your screen will be fine anyway. After you do that, put the two screws on the bottom with the screw covers and then you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.